Steve, is this where we got your shirt? Uh, yes. Look, it's the same shirt. You match. Uh, back. And this back matches too. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome to another day with North and South. We are currently in Alabama. We arrived yesterday. We came from the last location, which was up in Kentucky. Now we're in an outside of a little town called Arley, Alabama. We're here really just for, I think five days. I don't know that we're gonna be doing a whole lot except kind of re or just decompressing. Relaxing. Yeah, we had to, we've just been so busy. And then catching up on some other stuff we need to do, like posting videos. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that. It's a really beautiful area. It's on a lake, really beautiful reservoir. It's quiet. There's lots of stars in the sky. It's really dark out here at night. Yeah. Because we're, we're far out here. So we're at a, we're at an RV park. It's a thousand trails park out here by the lake, uh, Smith Lake, I think it is. Well, is that right? Eve's got the shirt on. I don't remember. Oh, let's see. Oh, there you go. Turn around. Let's see the lake back. life. Oh yeah. Lewis Smith Lake. It's a reservoir, <laughs> but we're gonna run into town because we gotta get some groceries. There's a little grocery store in town, which is one of those little stores that has kind of everything because it's the only store in town. So it's kind of fun. And it's so charming. Yeah, it's kind of fun. So we're running into town. See what we can get. And then come on back and probably get lunch. And well, I don't know what else to do today. I'm working on stuff related to video editing and taxes and that sort of thing, which is super fun. Anyways, we'll see. We are in Arley at the grocery store. The owner of the store just introduced himself. Or the grandson hello. of the owner. He's related. So nice. Super nice guy. Asked but they have a, name and yeah. They've got a good little, little grocery store here. We've got lots of items for a very small town and then they've got a whole nother section over there that has more stuff. Got some fried chicken here in the back. Chester's chicken. Can't go wrong with that. What? What is that? Banana pudding? Oh. Ooh, I want some of that. The nice lady behind the counter there gave me some banana pudding to sample. And it's super good. So I'm going to buy more of this. We're working on things here. Asher's actually going to get a, fish, a fishing pole. Left mine at home, so. Left his behind. We're gonna have to see if we can fit that somewhere in the RV, but we're on a lake. So there may be some good fishing. Steve, is this where we got your shirt? Uh, yes. Look, it's the same shirt. You match. Uh, back. And this back matches too. Yeah. Very nice. It's later in the day, but it's also rainy today, which is probably a good day to be working inside. But this this is the setup for when we can't eat outside. This table, which was here, is now here. And then we have this little table, which used to be one of the counters in the old house. You can put on sausage, yeah. Is now a table that we eat at. So we've got this fairly good setup. Some people on the couch, some people on chairs. Megan has made some good food in this mini kitchen so far on this trip. I was very nervous about, last time we did our full-time RV trip, we just started eating like lots of convenience food, a few packaged food. Yeah. And I really didn't want to do that again. Not because of like, some because of health, but mostly because like, I actually forget, forgot how to cook. Oh, we while we were it. on the RV trip. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I just wanted to be able to keep practicing my kitchen skills, so. Well, and so the oven actually works, we found out. Works pretty well. Yeah. Just have to have smaller small. everything. We hadn't used this before, like literally a, a week ago. Yeah. And we never used it in our last RV because it was in an inconvenient spot, but I'm very happy. I was like nervous, but since it was in the repair shop, I couldn't go and look at it. I couldn't test it. I couldn't see what pans would fit into it. So it was all just like, but it's, it's working. We'll have yeah. to do a video on that sometime. Yeah, it's great. We got a nice meal here. Now the mashed potatoes More instant. are not. I'm not making those on the 
those this potatoes. Idaho boy uh, resists instant mashed potatoes, but that's fine. Otherwise, it's looking pretty good. And this is a lot easier when there's only seven of us as opposed to 11. This would have been impossible in that scenario. Okay, Dad has decided the easiest way to do this is cold turkey, polar plunge, jump in the lake. Um, did we tell people we were coming down here? No, we, this is our RV park. It's right here on this incredible lake called Nathan Smith Lake, yeah. or just Smith Lake for short. And it's right here in the park. And so all of these fancy houses and then our RV park, it's awesome. <laughs> Dad's gonna jump in though. It's the cleanest lake in Alabama. Ready? Dad's just gonna jump in. Don't jump on any rocks. <laughs> he won't. It's pretty clear. You can see there's no rocks right there. Just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, just put your feet in. And... No, I don't no, 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 no. It's trying to go slow. That's where it's, it's kind of the worst. It's not like so cold that you can't get used to it. Don't drown, okay? Oh my gosh. I would never do it. Guys, it's only like 75 like degrees out. It is. This guy is by yeah, it's not warm. Out. So you won't recover very well. It's I don't know so if I'm cold. getting in. I don't know if I'm getting cold yet. <laughs> you sure you want to? Yeah. I do. Okay. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right, Dad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cold just standing here. I don't think I'm going to get wet. Kinda. Oh, just stay out there then, Dad. Just stay out there. Alright. <laughs> well, we have the whole place to ourselves. I wonder why. <laughs> it's kind of a cold day. It's it's um like 75 degrees, but it's breezy. Um, so like it doesn't really take the chill off as much as you'd hope. <clears throat> Well, that was the end of the day here in Arley. We eventually did all get in, but we didn't record and it was just perfect. We've just been, obviously, as you guys know, going, 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 going with the house renovation. And then we, you know, moving out, getting on the road, it's just been crazy. And so even though this Thousand Trails RV park is kind of in the middle of nowhere. It was exactly what we needed. And in fact, it actually isn't as middle of the nowhere as we thought. It's just a middle of a place we didn't know about. If you haven't been to Alabama, it's actually quite a charming state. It's very affordable. It turns out it's the most affordable state in the United States to live in. And it's really beautiful. The Birmingham area is hilly and green. And like I said, this lake in Arley is just a dream. And there's houses all around it. It's amazing. So we've had a really good time. It's been very restorative for us. Um, but come back next time. We're going to head to a new RV park and see a new part of the country that we haven't seen before. Love you guys. Thanks for coming along. And until then, bye.